gas. You ready? Oh, yeah. Hi, welcome to Sail Right. It's spring here in Indiana and it's time to start getting ready for our boating season. With that, we have got a test in mind for everybody with our new Sattler product line that we are going to be promoting through here at Sail Right. Seth and Eric have been kind enough to create a new Bimini for us and it is the antique beige that uh, we're going to put to the test. We're going to start throwing some uh, water and other products on that that you might find on your everyday life out there in the boating world. What is Sattler? Sattler is a 100% solution dyed acrylic that we use in the boating industry. Today we are focusing on its stain resistance, water resistance, but it is also known for its mold and mildew resistance, UV and fade resistance, and stretch resistance. For this test, I'm going to stay up here nice and dry and safe. Well, my partner's gonna be down below and we're gonna pitch a few things over the top just to see how it works. Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, make sure you subscribe to this because uh, I'm putting myself at risk here, so that's why I got this. Here we go. Ah. Oh, and it saved me already. <laughs> okay, for this first test, we'll throw a little water on top just like it would be if it were raining or storming outside. Ross, you ready? Oh yeah. Look, it beat it right off. Water worked well. Now we're going to move on to a pseudo adult beverage, maybe like a wine or something like that. Um, here at Sail Right, we're not drinking on the job, so we're going to do something a little less potent. So nothing stains more than a red sauce of some form. Why don't we try a little juice? So here we go. It's juice time. A little red stuff. Beating off. Doesn't look like it's sticking anywhere. I'm happy to be under here. Let's put some green stuff on there, see what happens. Huh, for you sailors out there, it looks like a bad night. But it's not staining. All right, after our quick little test with some pseudo adult beverages and our little kitty juice, I got a little mixture of everything out here and it looks pretty good. I don't see any stains developing and it looks like it's about, to be about ready to be washed off. All right, as you guys can see, Ross is doing his job on the top side now. Just a simple hosing off and everything's coming off nice and clean. Now Ross is getting a little wet, so we need to teach him how to uh, run a hose, it looks like. Nice and clean. Everything came off as it's supposed to. Saturday morning, got a little pancake going on, so how about a little syrup? Let's, let's try the syrup on top. We're going to give it a double barrel effect here, see what happens. See if Russ is ready to add a little syrup to his pancakes and ah, yeah, a little bit more. Let's do some chocolate too. Everybody likes chocolate on their pancakes. Ooh. Picasso, eat your heart out. <laughs> Ready? Water. All right, Ross is working it over. It seems to be just spraying off. A little sticky, but it's spraying. I need to do a little agitation with it. That's a testament, guys. Just a simple hose and it's all coming off. Ross has a real nozzle. It'll probably come off a lot faster, but it's coming off. So much for this morning's breakfast. Well, we've got breakfast out of the way, so why don't we just skip lunch and go straight to dinner? How about a little steak sauce on there? I know it's a little odd, but you know, things do happen weirdly out in the water, and so we're just gonna try a little steak sauce. Here we go. 
All right, I'm gonna move up here a little bit just uh, to avoid some of the breeze that we had last time. like snake. Not as good as the last, but it still looks pretty. Thanks, us. Oh, oh it stinks. Oh, yeah. Coming yet. Smell it from here. You can see we had a more of an oily substance in there, which kind of left some replications of a maybe an animal bird dropping flying over something like that which is going to take a little more effort to get cleaned out so in a situation like this you can see it's still wet but I'm now going to add a little bleach and dish soap solution to it with a scrub brush and kind of work it all off and it will come off just kind of light scrubbing Let's take a quick look now, see what we got with our hose. If we need to add more to it, we can. All right. All right, we've got good results. No more work on it. After giving it a quick shot. This is no different than any other canvas. Once you scrub it down after you're doing your annual cleanings, you're gonna work off some of your water repellency. This is a time to inspect everything and then go back and retreat it with a product that uh, is your preference. Uh, we like to use 303 Fabric Guard here at Sailrite, but uh, if you have something else that you prefer, test it first, but give it a shot. But we like 303 Fabric Guard. I'm liking it. A little effort, a little elbow grease, everything works out. When it dries out, then you come back and reapply your waterproofing reactivating agent, whatever you choose. Again, at Sailrite, we prefer to use the 303 Fabric Guard to revitalize our acrylic fabrics. We like that one. Granted, this was not a scientific test, but we hope you understand why we did it. This is typically a real world type of situation, and we wanted to prove to you that Sattler is an ideal fabric for this type of a situation. Your Dodgers, your Bimini's, your other canvas work that you may have in mind. It does withstand the elements. It does withstand staining. We we're not fortunate enough to have a bird fly by and do its thing, but it does everything we want it to do. So if we can help you out with uh, your Sattler questions and products, and for your other projects that you're wanting to do, please let us know. We're happy to help. Sattler's wealth of benefits and features make it the ideal fabric for many of our outdoor projects, including bimini tops, t-tops, dodgers, marine exterior cushions, sail bags, sail covers, other covers and enclosures, awnings, wire hung canopies and pergolas, weather cloths, boat windshield covers, and many, many more. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching. If you like this kind of stuff, make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, and we'll bring you some more videos like this, because this was fun, wasn't it? Thanks for watching.